Ship to Admiralty, repeated Vipers. Hello, it's British Legion and welcome to a Dystopian Wars video. Uh, I don't know if you saw in my last video, but I briefly showed off the uh, Hofmeister Battlefleet set in their raw plastic form. And uh, in the kit, you get these huge titans of the sea uh, sort of walking towards you for battle uh, with their battle swords and battle maces and their ray guns and their heavy cannons. Uh, so you get three in this kit to make up. And I, I've made all three and I've put some pictures up now of uh, the finished uh, plastic completed uh, kits uh, that I put together um, it does uh, as I said before it does really help to have the online instructions that War Cradle provide on their website so if you are struggling to put them together look it up and it and then it's fairly easy but um, what I've done I've, I've painted them all up so I'm gonna hit the deck in a minute and show you what they look like in their painted form but I've also got some older versions that I wanted to compare to the new ones, which uh, I think is, uh, they've gone, a, I think War Cradle have gone about it the right way because they expose the model from the waist up, whereas the older ones are almost sunken up to their shoulders. So I'll show you what I mean anyway. And uh, they are lovely models, the, the new ones. Uh, so let's hit the deck. Me waffling. Right. So here is the War Cradle's uh, Hofmeister Battlefleet set. So these three mammoth titans coming out of the sea. Uh, I've gone away. I've gone. My paint scheme has gone pretty simple. Um, I've gone with the terrific. Where's my fantastic paint? The old Vallejo metal color gun metal grey in a really cool, vigorating bottle, and it, it's a really cool paint. Uh, it comes out really well, nice and thin out straight out of the pot, and. Uh, then I hit it with uh, a black wash, gone on with the gold highlighting, and then uh, sealed it all off again with uh, a, a brown wash, and then a quick dry brushing of silver again, and then uh, done the CFX. And you can see I do my CFX in a couple of videos ago where I show you how I do my C bases. So yeah, there they all are in their free set formation. And uh, as I say, I was going to compare the older models from the previous company. And you see what I mean? They're a lot more sunken into the water and slightly different style. There you go, Angela and Wolf. Uh, so, yeah, I have to say, I'm not just saying this, but I do prefer the newer War Cradle ones. Uh, these are a lot different and I do like them. Uh, they're in resin, not plastic. But uh, yeah, and they come in a set pose, whereas these you can sort the poses out a lot differently. I mean, I, in some respects, the middle one, I was, I was thinking maybe what I should have done was put the hands together somehow. So he was clasping the, the sword with two hands and raising it above his head. But I think I missed out on that. Perhaps uh, I don't know if someone else will do that at some point. I'm sure it might be possible because you, you get a lot of movement in these arms and then you just have to stick in, stick them into a position with some PVA, PVA glue, plastic glue, PVA, don't use play, PVA glue. <laughs> oh, God, It's all right. It's been a long weekend. I've been doing a trade show, so uh, I only just got back to it. Right. Thanks for watching. And I'll probably put some quick picks up at the end. All right. Cheers. Bye.